In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, Francis and David, and good evening to all those parishioners and others who may be tuning in to this evening's Mass online. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. All the priests stand at their duties every day, offering over and over again the same sacrifices which are quite incapable of taking sins away. Jesus, on the other hand, has offered one single sacrifice for sins and then taken his place forever at the right hand of God, where he is now waiting until his enemies are made into a footstool for him. By virtue of that one single offering, he has achieved the eternal perfection of all whom he is sanctifying. The Holy Spirit assures us of this, for he says first, this is the covenant I will make with them when those days arrive. And the Lord then goes on to say, I will put my laws into their hearts and write them on their minds. I will never call their sins to mind or their offenses. When all sins have been forgiven, there can be no more sin offerings. The word of the Lord. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, I will put your foes beneath your feet. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord will send from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. a prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the daybreak, I begot you. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The seed is the word of God, Christ the sower. Whoever finds this seed will remain forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to teach by the lakeside, but such a huge crowd gathered round him that he got into a boat on the lake and sat there. The people were all along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things in parables, and in the course of his teaching he said to them, 
Listen, imagine a sower going out to sow. Now, it happened that as he sowed, some of the seed fell on the edge of the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky ground where it found little soil and sprang up straight away because there was no depth of earth. And when the sun came up, it was scorched, and not having any roots, it withered away. Some seed fell into thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no crop. And some seed fell into rich soil, and growing tall and strong, produced crop, and yielded thirty, sixty, even a hundredfold. And he said, Listen, anyone who has ears to hear. When he was alone, the twelve, together with the others who formed his company, asked what the parables meant. He told them, The secret of the kingdom of God is given to you, but to those who are outside, everything comes in parables, so that they may see and see again, but not perceive, may hear and hear again, but not understand, otherwise they might be converted and forgiven. He said to them, do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? What the sower is sowing is the word. Those on the edge of the path where the word is sown are people who have no sooner heard it than Satan comes and carries away the word that was sown in them. Similarly, those who receive the seed on patches of rock are people who, when first they hear the word, welcome it at once with joy, but they have no root in them they do not last. Should some trial come, or some persecution on account of the word, they fall away at once. Then there are others who receive the seed in thorns. These have heard the word, but the worries of this world, the lure of riches, and all the other passions come in to choke the word, and so it produces nothing. And there are those who have received the seed in rich soil. They hear the word and accept it and yield a harvest thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. response to our prayers of intercession tonight is, Lord, grant us your love. I may have faith strong enough to move mountains, but if I have no love, I am nothing. With this in mind, we pray. Lord, Sustain us as we build and grow towards you. Increase our faith as we work. We are assailed by doubts and weighed down by uncertainties. Release our hearts to journey towards you with hope. Love keeps no score of wrong and does not gloat over evil. Help us to delight in the truth and rejoice in your gifts to others. Confirm the pilgrim church in the faith of the apostles. Help us to encourage each other sharing our gifts. We pray for the sick, for all who are poorly in mind or body. We pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes that they may be strengthened, sustained, and encouraged, particularly in their hour of greatest need. 
We pray for all those families, especially in our own parish, who are mourning the loss of a loved one, asking God to replace their sense of loss and desolation with his very own divine support and divine consolation. We pray too for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims throughout the world who have died. Bring those who have died in your peace to that knowledge which fulfills faith and answers hope. Grant all our deceased the fullness of your love. And we remember in a special way at Mass tonight, Joseph Kelly, Mary McKeever, James Williamson, Mary Neeson, Maureen Edgar. And I also ask your prayers for my grandfather, whose anniversary also occurs today, and for my mum, who was born on this day 94 years ago. And we pray God may welcome these deceased into his heavenly kingdom of peace and light. Let us pray. Let your peoples cry, come into your loving presence, Lord. Forgive us our sins, so that by your grace we may be devoted to your service and rest secure under your protecting hand through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Eamon, our Bishop, Michael, his assistant bishop, Sean, our retired bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. Angela Merici, St. Patrick, St. Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, 
Immaculate Heart of Mary. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee here, ever this night be at my side, to light to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. We pray this extract from St. Patrick's breastplate as a prayer for protection from the coronavirus. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ within me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. And we also implore the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, praying through her intercession that we may all be protected from this coronavirus as we pray the memorari together. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer me. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>